So that's why I quite like Maritime. Wasn't really necessary, but I actually quite enjoy getting trade power off of Min, so I'm gonna go ahead and fabricate a trade conflict on them. Because I'm not going to be getting there anytime soon. No, my Admiral! Quite unfortunate, ladies and gentlemen. Just grab some military points there. Should be a lot closer to uh, guns now. Ah, thank you, Welton Bumbler 08. For subscribing for two months in a row. I'm not gonna give you my money. Look at that! My prestige flats out at 83. That's amazing. You gotta love Ryuku. That's all, that's just Ryuku right there. It's amazing. Animus Ryuku, that is. I'm hoping Min has uh, more than 20%, and they do. Time to raise maintenance because we're about to get ourselves a little bit of a rebellion. And I would like to save up some money for uh, manufactories and all that. Declining power of the nobility. What do you know? I might actually be able to recruit an app. I mean, a general here. Um, I will do that. Might enjoy getting some decent. Oh, Goku! You, you're different. What happened? What the hell are you? Can't you tell, Freezer? It's just like Vegeta said. No, you fucking don't. I am the hope of the Omniverse. I am the light bulb in the darkness. I am the bacon in the fridge for all living things that cry out in hunger. I am the Alpha and the Amiga. I am the terror that flaps in, in the, the night. night. And I am a super! <laughs> Say it. <laughs> I am the Alpha and the Amiga. <laughs> I am the hope of the Omniverse. I am the light bulb in the darkness. I am the bacon in the fridge for all living things that cry out in hunger. Oh man, Team Four Star. So good. Alright, time to get into battle mode here. I want the trade power from Ming. Min, not Ming, Min. There's really no way, no other way of telling that you're inferior other than just removing a letter. I mean, come on, Min. Alright, let's uh, justify trade conflict here and get this show on the road. I don't need to do anything in this war other than just locating him. That's the cool part about trade power wars. I just blockade him, do nothing. Eventually, the other guys will peace out and we'll be good to go.
a whole bunch of extra ships, and they can go to Hangzhou as well. Now he does have allies, and he might occupy my vassal or whatever, but that's not going to give him too much war score, I don't think. I hope not, at least. Might want to help out there a little bit. But much more inclined to not do anything. Also guns, fantastic. And the banner infantry is also a million times better than this stupid archibisher. Archibisher is weird. Don't like the archibisher. Now I would like to uh, build up a spy network in both Wu and Korea because we're going to be fighting those next. And I no longer need any spy points in that place. Yeah, they've got a really big army. They might they might upset me with that, but I'm really not that interested in defending any of that land. I don't think. <laughs> right, Japanese in Kyoto. We want to uh, wait a month to recover our morale. Although with all of our uh, prestige, like this prestige is so amazing when you're fighting rebels. Because rebels take your... Um, they won't have my morale from prestige. That's why when you have negative prestige, it's really difficult to fight rebels. But when you have positive prestige, and when you have high prestige, it's very easy to deal with rebels. And after the rebellion's fired, I'll bring my army to the mainland and wrap this war up. But I really don't need to do any of that right now. Quick question, what are the best DLCs in my opinion? Uh, common sense is really useful for Grand Province and raising development. Uh, Marinostra, I don't really know what Marinostra does. To be honest, I don't really know what the DLCs do, because, because I just get all of them, so I don't... I get all of them when they come out, right, because I make... I do streams, right, so like I want to have all the content, so I really don't know particularly, but Art of War is really big, and so is Common Sense for Grand Province, and, and I don't even know what Maritime does, uh, Mar Mari Nostrum does exactly. I mean, Corruption is part of the free patch, I'm pretty sure, and, uh, well... Other than that, I really don't know. Espionage and rent armies. Really? Espionage is not in the base game? This is odd. But the way I see it, I mean, I play this game for 8,000 hours, right? So I'm like, yeah, you know. I'll just get everything, because, like. Laurie, am I playing on iron mode? Of course I'm playing on iron mode. I only play on iron mode. Yeah, I really ought to land troops here. Th this whole uh, blockading thing used to be nice when I didn't have any continental land. But now that I do, I actually have to go defend that. A little bit of a... A little bit of an oversight on my part. But that's alright. I mean, it's not my land that he's occupying. He's occupying this stupid vassal. Which is why I don't like my vassals having forts, because I really don't fancy defending my vassals. I feel like it's a waste of time, so... Now these Imagawas, where are they even going to spawn? In Suriga, and these ones are going to spawn in Zetsu. But I'm converting Zetsu. No, I'm not converting Zetsu. I wish I was, though. But I can stop the Imagawas from firing by putting some troops onto Suriga. So we'll go ahead and do that, and then... Uh, Osakawa won't fire after I've converted that, so. I think we'll be a-okay. Now let's see here. None of that particularly strikes my fancy. 
This thing does, though. This thing is gonna make me a lot of money. Too bad I can't get that until tech 14. It's not that far away. <laughs> That's so weird that espionage is not in the base game. <laughs> what, what? Like, you can't pick the idea group? I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> After we get H Imagawa down, we'll start landing our troops and start kicking ass in the mainland. Hey, what are you doing? You should... No, 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 don't privateer, goddammit. Protect trade in Hangzhou. Oh, I see what I was doing. I thought this was my, um... My transport fleet, but my transport fleet's all over here. So hold on, I ought to get those out of there, because I need to land my troops in the mainland. And then I do need to get this trading shenanigans down here, so that I can, uh, You know. Make sure that I'm actually blockading him for the ticking war score. Let's convert Zetsuits to final province. After that's converted, then uh, Hosokawa won't fire. And Imagawa isn't gonna fire either. Not that it fits at 20% and the revolt risk was only 2%, so. Should be fine. Let's do this whole uh, locating thing and then get out of here. Hang Zhao, there you go. That's the one. I must my truce with Boo over. 39. And they're allied with Korea. It's a little unfortunate. Especially considering I'll only have two years to wrap this war up. It's gonna make it slightly difficult to deal with. Okay. I reckon we'll be fine. Now, who exactly are we at war with? We're at war with Kin and Shun. Shun looks big. Not really sure if I like Shun being that big. Convert Kyoto. Well, you know, the, the previous patch made the uh, espionage quite useful. I don't know which patch it was, but one of the patches gave you a monarch point in each category. If you uh, were lacking behind enough. Now it does even more, because it gives you um, a tech discount. So especially if you're playing as a... Oh, crap. Oh, that's quite unfortunate. Oh, time lapse. There you go. Time lapse is really cool. See, if someone wants to know, oh, uh, how did you do this? I can just show, uh, open up the time lapse, you know. It can show you how I did what I did. It's really nice. Now, do you have guns? He does. Hmm. Not really sure if I want to focus on that guy, but... I reckon with my high-quality troops and my... Uh, hold on, let me, let me just go ahead and grab myself something that actually... Oh, never mind. Oh, hold on. Now I really do want something that can help me fight. I need to turn that message back on that pops up whenever, uh... There you go, discipline. That's good enough. You Stuck- oh, that's not gonna be a stuck away. That's not gonna, gonna be a stuck away. 
this might do. Nah, I doubt it. These guys are um, a lot stronger than I thought they would be. I don't want to consolidate regiments because I'm afraid my mercenary regiments are going to get disbanded. Well, if I throw ones, I'm not going to win. I'm not going to stack a wiper. Wow, what is this morale? Did he pick defensive? Of course he did. Defensive is such a bullshit idea group. It's way too strong. 15% morale. That is bullshit. I mean, you can't. You, there's, there, there's no idea group that is that strong. Uh, early on, at least. Like, it's, it's so easy to get to. It's like you get two ideas in defensive and then your troops are stronger than everybody else. For a very long time, and at least until the late, 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 late game. But it's not a very good long term uh, bonus, 15% morale is. But, you know. Still very good in the short term. This is mountain, so I won't get in. I won't get attacked there. I can just sit there, siege that down, peace out, shot, then it will be good to go. What's this about everyone getting innovative? It looks shit to me. Well, if you're playing in the rest of the world, and then uh, you know you want to, I can't just buy down my war exhaustion using dip because then uh, I'll end up. Going super far behind in diplomatic powers. So this idea group, this one here, this optimism is great. It's absolutely fantastic, especially when you're playing as a as a, as a non-Abrahamic religion. In which case you'll get hit by the corruption thing more than other religions because uh, you know you have to conquer land that's not part of your religion. 9 out of 10 times, unless you're like Hindu. So... You know, optimism is quite nice because you can't pick up Defender of Faith, you want to save up money, I mean points, by not by having to buy down War Exhaustion. And you don't want high War Exhaustion either, because then pouring costs increase and you want to keep up in admin tech as well, so... That's quite nice. And then there's the tech cost reduction, which is also quite nice. I have, I, I, innovative is a good idea group, guys. It's a good idea group. This is not nonsensical. It doesn't do anything. Well, I mean, it's, it's sort of nice. Possible advisors is pointless. Reduced inflation costs is also pointless. Legal upkeep is nice. And advisor cost reduction, once again, helps you save money. This batch is about making money. So it's, you know, it's quite nice. Did you get that extra discount? Right. Shu. Shun. Shun the non believer. Shun! Yeah. Wait, what? I siege the fort down. How come I have 0% war score? Uh, because he's got my uh, vassal's capital. This fucking bastard. And he actually wants that land too, which is why he is not uh, transferring the occupation over. On the plus side, if I do piece him out, um, he isn't going to have that. When exactly is my true silver? December this year. That's not good. Really? Really? It disbanded my fucking true. I hate it when it does that. I knew that was going to do it, which is why I didn't want to consolidate. Jesus. Which is why I didn't want to consolidate in the first place. But... Even if this war hasn't finished, I, I will declare that that war. I mean, I just have to. No other way of putting it, I just have to. In order to win the Wu War, I need a bit more mercenaries. So.
Oh, that was Mercenary Maintenance? Oh, they changed that event. Fuck. Okay, well, apparently it's Mercenary Maintenance now. Jesus. I thought it was cost. It was cost before, but now that's maintenance. It's, uh, it's kind of bad. This guy got so many forts and he's got defensive ideas too, so my guys are just dying to attrition left, right, and center. It's awful. This is bad. I'm gonna lose so many cannons now. Rip cannons. Shit, man. Wu is gonna join a coalition unless I declare this war like right now. No, he's not going to join a coalition. Like, with who is he going to join a coalition? Because I still have a truce with Korea, I've got a truce with Japan, I've got a truce with Yan. I've got a truce with... I don't have a truce with Jin, so he could... That's Jin. And then there's Wu. Wu. That one can't join, though. Meow. Sprintly to me. No, he's not going to join a coalition. Even if he does. He's got no one to join the coalition with, so... Unseach my vassal? No, why would I do that? I just want to peace that guy out. I could unseach my vassal, but that's going to get unseached the moment I peace out Shun, so... And he's gonna want to peace out the moment I get this thing done. And then I'll probably have enough war score on Min. No, Goku died. God damn it. It's unfortunate. Especially combined with the fact that I can't get a new general like right now. Ugh. So many dead cannons. So unfortunate. It's probably my best guy now. 2-3 instead of 5-1. Shock is still quite quite a bit more important than uh, fire at this point. No, wait, hold on, hold the fucking phone here. Shun, there you go. Right, Shun's willing to peace out. 
means I've got tons of war score on Min, and I can get what I want, most likely, because I am blockading all of his ports. So, how about you give me trade power and some war rep? That's basically all I want. And then we can get our navy back together. It's time for us to kick the shit out of Wu, who's rebuilt his navy. Admin ideas and chill. Nah. It's all about the money making ideas, guys. Okay, so this is going to put me at war with Kim, uh, Jung Shan, Jin, Miao, and Korea. But Korea is a tad bit unfortunate. Because I would have liked to not be at war with them right now. But hey, what am I gonna do? Something I'm gonna have to deal with. I can just white piece them, but it's fine. I would like to white piece them in a timely fashion. Do they have their capital in Beijing now? No, where did they move their. Oh, look at that! Part of Forbidden Palace. Oh, that's nice. They moved their capital to Yara, and they're truly. Uh, the Manchu tribe now. I mean, Manchu itself is my vassal, so submit, kneel, all that. Acid. So would that put me at war with Yun? No, it would not. Well, regardless, I'd like to take care of um, Korea first in this coming war. Um, I'm losing a lot of money. Because I'm reinforcing. I'm hoping Yan will give them access. Uh, Yan! Oh no. It's Korea gives access to Yan. Okay. Oh. Pretty sure Yan would give access to Korea and then we can go kick their shit in. Is there anyone else we would like to set as a co belligerent? No. No. Not really. I will just holy war. It's fine. Hey man, I'm totally at war with one of your rivals. Yeah man, I'm at war with Jin. Gin tonic, man. Give me access. Uh, yeah! Fantastico. Too bad about this whole cannon count being so low. So, we'll do that, we'll get the low-conditioned guys out of here, and hold the phone. He's probably wanna, gonna want to end up uh, fighting my guys in Beijing or something like that. I don't know what he wants to do. I don't know what life is right now. Oh, Newt's month's boops too. It's uh, it got nerfed a lot. I didn't get nerfed. Corruption itself didn't get nerfed. Just the cost of buying it done got uh, got nerfed. 